Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today I want to show you my antenna mod I did on my JYU Hornet S. I didn't like the antenna that came with the transmitter. Let me flip it. Didn't like the antenna that came with the transmitter. So I decided to do a modification on the antenna. Uh, the antenna, the transmitter has a, a I believe it's UFL connector, uh, which means that you could use any uh, of your favorite antennas. I mean, if you had to modify this thing, like I did. So I decided to modify. It. This is how I did it. First of all, you gotta, you gotta, of course, you know, open uh, the quad. You gotta get, open all the the hex nuts over here. You gotta be careful because they strip. Okay. You gotta open the quad, and as soon as you open, get rid of uh, the screws. This thing pops it has pops locks in here, locks. So you gotta you gotta press in between and then pull the bottom part to unlock it. Don't pull it too hard, and then it should just pop out. Now you gotta be careful though, because there's a the antenna, the GPS antenna is up here somewhere on here. So there's a cable attached to the top part. So you gotta be careful. So carefully flip it. And if you have to disconnect, then GPS antenna disconnected, which is good. It's better. Okay. So this is the GPS antenna. Well, let me show you. There's a this plate goes here. This is where the battery compartment is. So that plate goes like that. You have to unscrew these to open the the GPS antenna. And the reason why I did that. It was because this is the only spot where the cable fit, my uh, my SMA connector will fit. It's a 90 degree SMA connector. I'm sure you are familiar with that. It's a 90 degree if an SMA connector. You can use a female, male, doesn't matter, but whatever you want to use. But it's a 90 degree. And this is the only spot that I found space for it. Well, I, there's more space over here, over here, but then the antenna was gonna be on the side. I didn't want it to be on the side, I wanted it to be on the center top, like regular regular racing quadcopters. So you drill a hole to the top part for this thing to pop out. Drill a hole, put it there, you know, tight it, and then you run the cable. I have a, I have a 12 inch uh, adapter connector here. It's a 12 inch cable. And then it worked pretty good for me. You could do it, in, I don't know, however you want. But this is my, uh, this was my my kind of like uh, idea to run it like this. You could have many other ideas. It's all up to you. But I only found this spot to be the perfect fit. I didn't find anything else. So I run the cables through here. This is a GPS cable. So I run the antenna cable through here. All right, and then when you put this guy there, of course, you're gonna close it. You see, and it fits, it fits perfectly. You don't you don't want any bump or anything here because then you're gonna have uh, issues sliding the battery, but I haven't had any issues. It fit perfect, it fit perfectly. So when you run the cable, you gotta figure out how to run it through the side. Okay, I even had to do a couple of notches here, right here, for the cable to run so it won't hit the circuit board. All right, when you run it, then you close it. Uh, you could run the cable in through the inner parts, but I decided to run it through the outside, uh, through one of these air vents. I drilled it a little wider, which I should have used a smaller bit. But uh, you or you could use uh, you make it, you can make one of these a little wider. So I run the cable through here to the camera module. I'm doing this one hand, so it's kind of difficult. Okay, let me pop this guy open. Okay, so you you take the camera module. I mean, you can't get it off anymore, but. I don't think there's another way to do it unless you can do it. There's no space on the bottom. But anyways, uh, I run the cable through there. Okay. 
and then uh, it's really difficult one hand. So you open the module here. Okay, there we go. As you can see, let me try to focus it here. There's a, you can remove the old antenna. The old antenna is really small. It will fit in here. And I didn't really like that. And then, uh, so I was able to pull the old antenna out. Like I said, it's UFL connector. And then I used my own antenna. I hot glued it so it could stay in place. Okay, and then I drew like a little hole in, this, in the bottom part so I could run the cable through there. Sorry, it's really hard to do it one-handed. Okay. See, it's not pin. That's how it's going to look with the cable outside. Again, this is a 12-inch cable. Uh, SMA, SMA connector, 90 degrees to a UFL connector. And I also modified the lens. I took out the original lens and I'm using a GoPro lens. It's a more sharper, the GoPro is more sharper. But that's my antenna modification on this JYU for the transmitter. I mean, now you can use any of your antenna. I mean, I'm not gonna use this one, but this one should work. And I mean, it looks, there's no problem with the battery in there, as you can see, no problem. And look, you can slide the battery in really easy. Let me try to do this guy. No problem like that, see? So you need a, a 90 degree, SMA connector a 90 degree SMA connector to a UFL connector that connects, connects to the transmitter alright I don't really like the transmitter on this one because it's low power 100 milliwatts it might be good enough for you but for me, for me it's not uh, I'm probably gonna modify this guy to get rid of that transmitter later and then add a maybe a 600 milliwatt transmitter if I can make a fit in there it'd be great but if not then I have to do it somehow some way to have more range all right so that's uh, my antenna modification on the Hornet JYU Hornet S -JY, from JYU and um, I mean hopefully this thing gives you a, this video gives you an idea you know you could do it however you want to do it i guess i mean this was my idea uh, that had to do it like this yeah, you could probably do it in a different way but um like i said the ante original antenna for the transmitter i didn't like it because it was really small and it was in, in in here inside you know i didn't really like it when i when i would bank at a certain angle i would actually lose video and then that this here this modification actually got rid of it because it's outside you know and then if you use a clover leaf i believe that would be the best and that's when I, that's gonna be my future but with this guy i haven't had any issues <laughs> but it's not it's too long i mean I, i'm gonna probably upgrade it to a short one but if you have any questions any comments feel free and this is my modified antenna modification for my JYU Hornet, JYU Hornet S. Thank you for watching.